Hello, this is Pete or Kenshin1913 along with Dad. And today we're doing another cooking with Kenshin1913. What are we making today? Uh, porchetta. Yeah. Okay, we got a two and a half pounds of uh, pork loin. loin. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna butterfly it. All right, so butterflying is pretty much you get, uh, you know, you're gonna open up the the pork so that you or any meat really, and so you can get in there and and it also helps cook a little quicker, right? We also have my mom here in case you're you're wondering. So what you do, if you can explain what you're doing, Pop? Do you, yeah, you you holding it. cutting like a layer on the top so that you got it there and then you turn them around right. and you and you hover them on the other way right and like it like a book right and this and this when you do it will get it to have that lovely like pinwheel shape almost right ma yep so you can roll it yeah and and porchetta um, some people might think of the, those sandwiches that people eat, the Italian porchetta sandwich. Well, this is kind of our variation on it. No, that one it's... Yeah, and then they that, put it in... Matter, in Italy, they make them, they have a, a little pig that they put all kinds of seasoning, even a big pig. Mm -hmm. They put all kinds of seasoning in it. Yeah. And, and, they, and they roast them. Speaking of seasonings, what seasonings are we going to be using? Okay, we're going to be using garlic, rosemary, uh, black pepper, mm -hmm. some salt, paprika. parsley, and uh, and paprika for uh, add, add the color and uh, flavor. Right. Okay, so I cut up all the garlic. Yeah. Now, many people, we're putting rosemary in ours. I got this Himalaya, Himalaya salt. Pink salt. Pink. Yeah. No. So Ma, tell us uh, what, what traditionally is Tra in a porchetta. Tradi traditionally, um, you'll see that they put uh, fennel. Now he's putting garlic, uh, I mean parsley. Parsley. And you can get fennel sticks or you can get fennel seeds. And now black, um, black pepper. pepper. Sorry, Ma, we're just going to explain as we're going. And and put that in it. We're, right. we're not partial to the the anise. Because mm -hmm. uh, anise and fennel have that kind of licorice-ish um, flavor. So everybody doesn't like it in the family. So we use the rosemary instead. And a little instead. paprika. Yeah. And one thing, um, Ma, if you would like to add, right? Uh, what is it? But yeah, so yo oh, the garlic, right? If you don't, if you don't have if, fresh if garlic, you can it, use the garlic that's cho already chopped, chopped up. garlic. Mm -hmm. So now what my dad's gonna do is he's gonna fold one part over like that. There you go. And, and there's a little bit of olive oil so that it just adds to the uh, if you and use, the flavor. If you use fresh, fresh garlic, no, you can put a little olive oil. oil. If you use the chopped garlic, you. You can buy the chopped garlic in oil or in water. You know, mm -hmm. the, 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 if you buy the one in oil, the oil is already there. You, you don't need to add more. Right. And this technique, you can um, do uh, several other um, fillings. Mm -hmm. um, you can do um, Florentine. Florentine with right. spinach, and you would add garlic right. and seasonings. We might add, we might you do can that, so. do um, like um, a bread stuffing mm -hmm. um, and add se seasonings that you like. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also another seasoning um, where it's a bread seasoning and you put uh, apples, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah, and that's, okay. for, that's mainly for pork. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we, uh, we season this with the parsley. Yeah. And now this time you want to get this, this piece right here that you haven't touched yet. You have a little part. Keep going. Parsley, salt, pepper, all that good stuff. So, Ma, what? 
what temperature are we gonna put this in the oven at? 350. Yeah. And how long? For about how long do you think? Um, usually it's about 20 minutes a pound. Yeah. Um, and then of course you're gonna use your um lovely thermometer to test right. it. Yeah. So it'll probably be in there for about an hour, maybe maybe a little less than an hour. If you had 350, right? And this is two and a half pounds. Mm -hmm. You said 20 minutes a pound. That's... Yeah, about three hours. Three hours? Yeah, uh, one hour. All right. So yeah, we're just putting the salt, the pepper, the parsley, the paprika, the garlic, the rosemary. And yeah, this is the type of porchetta, because a lot of people, I think, I don't know, whatever, we'll talk about it again, but a lot of people, when they think of the porchetta, they think of that Italian pork that you put on the, that you uh, you know you put the sandwiches on. Now, Ma, would you mind getting the the pan? Sure. Wait, 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 wait. And we then we're gonna. With the pan. Oh so. yeah. So one thing. And then on top of you put a. Well, a no. Of... The top is the top going to be the fat part or the top going to be the other part? You get either. It yeah. doesn't really matter. So now you're just going to season a little, the... little salt, a little pepper, a little paprika. Pepper. No, no, no parsley. No parsley on top here. So yeah, those porchetta sandwiches that a lot of people think of, you know, they there's that thin sliced pork and you throw it on there. That's what you would do with this type. That's this type. You slice them thin. Yeah. You got a slicing machine. Yeah. And then you can make a porchetta sandwich. So one one thing we're gonna do here is my dad's gonna use this butcher. Butcher twine? Okay. Yeah. And you can buy butcher twine in any grocery store. Right. Um, sometimes it's near where the meat is, sometimes it's near where the spices are. Just ask your um, you know, your local store. So what about if you don't have butcher twine? Can you would you be able to just throw this in the oven like that? You could. You just have to be sometimes like this this part here might kind of puff puff up and pull away. Mm -hmm. Um, you could also use um, like the turkey pins right, yeah. um, in it to hold it onto the side. Yeah. So my dad's just starting there and he's just going to chop and cut it off. So yeah, you want to do at least three of them, right Pop? Yes. Yeah. Um, we don't want any chance. Yeah, and that'll, that'll keep it from uh, opening up. From opening up, like, like, like she said. And it's very easy to cut it off when, when everything's set. Now, Ma, what kind of pan are we using here? We're just using a small little baking pan. Mm -hmm. yes. If you have, have a bigger roast, of course, you got to use a bigger pan. Yeah. So the technique my dad's using for this is he's, he's putting the, the twine underneath and then, you know, tying it up, giving it enough slack, and then cutting it off. We'll show, we'll show it one more time. So, yeah, you go underneath. Giving yourself enough slack on one side, because usually, you know, for most most people, they don't really like use a lot of butcher twine. Don't use regular twine. Don't use regular twine. Right, it's got like it's right. splinters off. Right, yeah, and <laughs> don't use fishing line. Yeah, um, know, as I don't said, don't use shoelaces. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty uh, easy to find butcher. Twine. I, yeah. I know that I've seen it in the well, grocery store. Well, the only all the reason time. why I'm saying is, you know, some people might be they might get a little intimidated because they're like, oh, we gotta tie this up. But this is a, this is what you gotta do in mm -hmm. order to have a nice porchetta. So now, what you also could do if you wanted to, you could take the rosemary and lay it on the bottom, right? And then put your pork on top if you right. wanted you want to. You want a little oil? Yeah, we'll put a little bit oil so it won't stick. Yeah. So what you can do now is you take a couple sprigs of rosemary if you're using the fresh stuff. And you can also get rosemary that's dried. So if people dried, don't have it, I have a beautiful, beautiful plant. We had bought it a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and um, we have it out in the summer and bring it in in the winter. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is throw this in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. An hour. And, or and until its internal temperature is either 137 or 145. 137 is what you can keep eat it at. It's that, that's technically medium. The government lets you do that now. But 145 I believe is done. Okay, this is the the pork it, it, it's in a, a shrunk bit. 
Yeah, well, let's uh, take the thermometer and stick it in the middle. And you should be at 145. Turn it the other way so I can see it. There you go. So, the pork is a, is a little over, but that's all right. You want to get it at 145. And it's been in the oven about an hour. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it with our tin foil and let it just sit for about 20 minutes and then or about yeah 20 10 to 20 minutes and just let it let the juices redistribute back in and let it cool and then we're going to cut it up so yeah then look nice very lovely okay now we're ready to slice this roast it's been about 20 minutes Sit. One, and by the way, 149, 150 is actually a well done roast, and, uh, which you can do if you'd like. We take it, we take the cover off. And place it right, right there. Okay. Now, if you want, you can make some gravy with, gravy the, juice, with the juice, but we're not gonna. Okay. I'm gonna take the little thing out. You can leave them on if you want it, and this this way you it keeps holding the meat together while you cut them. Everything is nice inside. Everything's still together, very nice. Yeah. But yeah, now that we cut a couple pieces, all right, oh, you got your cup open. Okay, if you want to make a sandwich, yeah. you can use that and put them in the sandwich. And you put a, and you make a little gravy with that with the juice. This way, you can put a gravy in the sandwich. Oh yeah. So let's uh, let's eat. All right, so here's our porchetta. As you can see, we've uh, I've cut it up, or my dad did, and I'm just gonna take a bit of the middle here with all the flavors and seasonings on. Nice and juicy, nice and garlicky. You got all the nice, uh, just a simple pork dish. You know what I mean? And you get that little rosemary in there too. Everything just tastes good. Like I said, garlic's, garlic's what does it. So I've been Pete, our Kenshin 1913, along with that. And I want to thank everybody for watching Cooking with Kenshin 1913. And we'll see you in the next episode. Buon appetito.